everybody. I'm just here at this overpriced coffee shop where if I wished I could go in and spend £3.50 on one drink. And this uh, this coffee shop is actually very good actually because it's even got a drive through Because that's the society that we're living in now. You don't have to leave the comfort of your vehicle to get your overpriced caffeine fix. Uh, over here we have uh, a restaurant and uh, another restaurant and over there is a supermarket and there's actually there's a shit ton of shops here. There's, um, I'm not even sure, there's there's uh, furniture shops, there's uh, DIY shops, there's all sorts of shops here. Uh, and this wasn't actually here about three or four years ago. Three or four years ago this entire fucking land that I'm now parked on was fields. It's nice to know, isn't it, that we're making good use of the land. As the high streets completely shut down because no one wants to go to the high streets anymore and the internet's killed the high street, but we seem to still be building these retail parks. But the internet's probably going to wipe out these shops, apart from the coffee shops and the restaurants, uh, in the next probably 10, 15 years. So wh why? Why are, we, why are we still building retail parks? It's good to know, isn't it, that we are destroying Greenbelt and woodlands and space for wildlife just so boomer types can get their expensive coffee fix. Oh, hi again. I'm just uh, overlooking this beautiful countryside where uh, it's not been developed on, thankfully. Oh, hang on. So these are the affordable homes that the government is uh, approving. They're fucking shit quality. They're right on top of each other. You've got no space. There's no fucking gardens. And any garden that you do get, not that you, as you can see, there's very limited space for gardens. Um, any garden that you do get has been stripped of all its nutrients because what they do is they, they take off all the topsoil uh, fill it with hardcore, sell the good soil to nurseries or uh, um, bag it up, uh, sell it as soil and put down the shittiest ground so that nothing will ever grow in your garden other than crappy turf. So the whole idea is that these houses get young families on the housing market but obviously they're too expensive to actually fucking buy. So generally speaking it's only tossers who've got no clue who commute to London, who buy these fucking things. Um, and they're building thousands of these, thousands, all across Essex. This is near Colchester. And this is literally just down the road, just down this road here is where the uh, retail park is. As I say, you're on basically, a, you're living on a bypass on a main fucking road. So you wouldn't want to live here anyway. It's just fucking terrible. And they've stripped back all this all this land used to be fields, green belt, and they're building these fucking horrible houses on them. And do you know why they're building all these houses? Because we've got an overpopulation problem. And do you know why we've got an overpopulation problem? Because for the last 20 years, about 50% of our population growth has been owed to fucking immigration. But you're a racist if you bring that up. Apparently, you know, good old common sense flies out the window. So if we, if, if we hadn't have opened up our gates to immigration, we would have actually had a declining population right now. Or well, very soon would have a declining population once the boomers start snuffing it. And uh, things would have self-regulated. But no, we're stuck with these eyesores and um, our... Demographic replacement. So, uh, thank you, uh, UK government. Thank you, EU. Thank you, uh, United Nations um, population replacement scheme. I really love what you're doing to this country and to the world. It's great. Keep it up. Good effort.